Hello people, Yolan here, Day in Life, here to talk about the Diplomat Magnum Fountain Pen. Um, Diplomat has been in business since 1922, so their 100th anniversary will be coming up soon, and hopefully they'll do something special for that. And uh, I ordered the pen in prismatic purple. Um, it's got this uh, sheen on it that shifts between purple and blue in certain lights. There's a little red in it. It's just really a cool looking pen. It's a broad nib, if you can see that, broad nib. And this is my first broad nib, and I have been looking for a broad nib for a while just to tr test it out. Um, let's see. It came with two cartridges, uh, two small cartridges, one with blue-black ink and the other one is empty so you can put your own ink in it. And it's got a ink converter, you know, like normal international ink converter. And there's an ink window so you can see how much ink you have in your in your pen. Uh, let's see here. Um, when I got it, um, I've had it about a month, and when I got it, as soon as I got it, I inked it up with Ulami Azurite ink, and that is like this great blue color, you know, vibrant, you know, bright, and you'll see that in the writing sample. Um, it's the lightest pen I have ever written with. This thing is almost weightless when you pick it up and start to write with it. It's almost like you don't have a pen in your hand. It is so light. Um, the body is made of resin, which I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. It's, it's a type of plastic, but it's not really plastic. It's something else. I, I don't know how to describe resin. Snap cap. So it snaps pretty snugly. The clip is kind of stiff, but it's, you know, nothing. It'll hold onto your shirt easily. Um, cartridge converter, like I said. The nib is broad. Nib is made out of stainless steel. Um, it does post and post pretty securely. Let's see. The body is about, let me see. Yeah, the body diameter is 0.45 inches. And it's saying that the diameter of the cap without the clip is um, 0.48 inches. So I guess you can take the, the clip off. I don't see how you can do that, but Apparently, you can do that since they're saying it. Um, the length of the body is 4.88 inches. The length of the cap is 2.5 inches. Um, overall, the length is 5.25 inches. If it's posted, it's 5.97. The weight is 0.25 ounces and... Yeah, when it's like cap, capped and uncapped, it's about um, 2.5 inches. No, that's not how you say it either. This is where I get blah, 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 blah. Um, the weight of the body is 2.5 inches. The weight of the cap is 2.5 inches. The weight overall is 0.49 ounces. I'm saying inches for ounces people you got oh i'm so sorry i'm just tongue-tied today <laughs> and it uh what you call it the ink capacity in the cartridge is 1.52 milliliters and the ink capacity in the converter is 0.55 milliliters so if you forgive me for confusing ounces and inches we'll be fine so um, what we'll do is we'll do a writing sample and you can see how smooth it is 
and we'll go from there. Thanks. See you in a minute. Okay, here we are. This is the Diplomat Magnum. And I don't know what it's with me lately that I always seem to put an E at the end of every word that I write. And it is a broad nib with um, Lamy as your right ink. And I just thought this ink, like the color, was just really, really great. It's um, a steel nib. So there's not going to be much line variation. And, uh, but uh, any of the skips or whatever you're seeing are mine. They're not the pens. Um, I guess this like got some feedback. It's scratchy. But. If you don't mind hearing the pen write, it's great. Like I said, it's light as a feather. There's n nothing wrong with this pen. I mean, this is the best pen I've written with in a long time. So uh, if you like it, you can find them at Goulet Pens. And just have a good, like, try it out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Give me comments. You know, like, don't be cruel, but, you know, if, if you like my videos, definitely like and subscribe. So, thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.